What's up, Seriously Squad? We back in with more Toad and Joe. And oh boy, I've got an exciting video for you guys and gals today. The Lunar Lancer rework is currently on the Trove test servers. And let me tell you, it's, it's, it's really nice. It kind of just. It's a really tasty update. I'm really excited to share this with you guys today. So uh, there's a couple things that I do got to mention in today's video while we kind of are going to end up talking about like all of the other stuff that's going on. So the, the patch that's on the test server currently has uh, the rework to the Lunar Lancer, but it also includes 10 new modified abilities, which we ended up talking about these uh, in the last time we ended up having the test server available. There was modified abilities for almost all the characters in the game. Uh, then now that there's a whole bunch more of them, it makes me think that we've got new subclass abilities coming or something. This is uh, the, the new abilities are part of a larger update that is separate from the Lunar Lancer rework. Uh, and then there's also a couple other things uh, that are currently going on on the test server as well, like new dungeons and other additional updates and so on and so forth. My point is that today, this video is exclusively, bleh, exclusively focused on the Lunar Lancer, while I'll have another video that's going to talk about the different abilities uh, and the modified abilities. Uh, another video will talk about the patch in its entirety. Uh, basically, this is just a sole focus on the Lunar Lancer. Uh, another thing too I gotta let you guys know is that I did end up actually streaming this for a good 40 minutes. Uh, my first experiences with the Lunar Lancer and kind of testing things out and it was a lot of fun. Uh, but today I want to share all of the information that I ended up gathering for you guys in that stream. Uh, and then I'll more than likely have that live stream go public tomorrow. So those of you that want to actually see like full on gameplay of the Lunar Lancer and U10 and everything like that. Uh, that's not happening in today's video, okay? just to get that all out of the way now one thing that i do gotta mention is if you are new to trove you can use that sign up link down in the description and anything you end up buying out of the cash shop i make a percentage of that sale which is an awesome way you can help my support my cost of living and so on and so forth or you could honestly just become a youtube member uh and then and then you can see the streams and videos early and so on and so forth now Without further ado, the update to the Lunar Lancer is absolutely amazing. It overhauls all of the abilities, still using some of the similar ones like the grappling hook. And then other abilities are completely different, which is really, really cool. Uh, so we've got a new passive ability, which you'll notice we actually don't have any energy on the class. And that's what's important. So using abilities or attacking enemies gives moon power. Gather enough to become infused with the power of the moon. Lunar Lancers gain moon power instead of energy. So let's let's just for kicks go to U6. OK, there we go. So you can see now that we've actually got the moons rotating around our character as if we're about to trigger lunacy. Obviously, these moons are going to slow end up filling up uh, and becoming more and more bright uh, and once they're fully filled up it means that we have uh, the ability to well use our new ultimate ability which we'll talk about in a bit uh, but I just wanted to share with you that the moons rotating around our character and our energy bar are working in tandem because once our energy bar is at its maximum uh, there's kind of a little bit of energy just on the top that's not visually represented properly in the energy bar, uh, but it is with the moons. So the point is that once it's full, you can end up using our new ultimate ability and then the energy is slowly going to end up depleting. But we'll get into that in a little bit. That's just how the new lunacy mode ends up working. Uh, so our basic attack has increased damage of the basic attack by 180%. I don't know what the original was, so this is irrelevant information, developers, but whatever. Uh, increased hit range, and they added new animations because we've actually got the same old stupid pokey pokey thing. But you can see if we keep holding it, we actually get the effect of our number one ability or our old number one ability that's currently in the game. Uh, and the amount of damage is actually pretty high. Like we're in U10 and we're doing like nine mil uh, per attack on this guy. Uh, granted, I don't have like absolute perfect stats or anything like that. I'm I'm only rocking a crystal two spear for crying out loud. Um, Either way, that's pretty cool. Uh, another thing too I almost forgot to mention is now that we actually don't have energy recharge as an important uh, asset on the Lunar Lancer, it means that we can actually swap all of our gear uh, to movement speed and attack speed wholeheartedly. Uh, you could end up getting uh, crit damage on your gear if you want, but 
we'll we'll talk about lunar lancer builds in another video uh so the new primary ability which is our right click ability is the grappling hook so it pulls the player towards their target and on impact deals 400 percent damage to nearby enemies now the cool thing is that the original version of this ability that we can all play with right now on the live server he throws his spear and then he retracts towards the spear it's a double motion it's really really slow and clunky uh, so they've changed it now, so it's very similar to the spear from Bomber Royale, where it's instantaneous. You right-click, and then it just casts, and that's all there is to it. Now, the interesting thing is I ended up testing it out, and you would be very, very surprised that not only does the grappling hook work very efficiently, uh, it also has insane range and can actually carry you somewhere around uh, 45 to 50 blocks, depending uh, it seems to be inconsistent with those last few numbers there depending on lag and your positioning and so on and so forth but it's really really impressive the amount of distance you can end up traveling with it because it means dungeons like this where normally you would have to jump all the way up to it uh, and then continue to fighting towards the enemy and stuff like that well now we can just end up grappling right up there only using a couple jump and then we're already ready to end up taking on the enemies which is insane so moving on to the secondary ability which this is a brand new ability and i really really like this one so keep in mind the fact that when we grapple to an enemy the placement that we end up landing it didn't really work right there does 400 percent damage because this is going to end up being really important with the new ability that we're going to be talking about so the new ability is lunar leap so you jump into the air, dealing 350% uh, damage to enemies around the player, and you'll gain slow fall. So that's a pretty cool ability in general, just because it looks really neat. He kind of leaps into the air. Uh, the fire video effects represents the direction that you're pushing. Uh, and so long as you end up having the fire video effects around the Lunar Lancer, get this, you actually get a kind of one-two combo uh, that a lot of people have been calling uh, the Shao ability. So in Genshin Impact, there's literally a spear character, very, very similar just to the Lancer in terms of its playstyle now, uh, where you jump into the air and you slam down with your plunging attack. So what this is going to end up doing is making it so that the jump does a lot of damage, but then grappling uh, will actually do significantly more damage. So it was 400% uh, damage, but if you do the whole one, two thing, uh, you're actually going to end up uh, having the damage increased. Uh, I don't know where... Yeah, so on impact, it's going to actually deal 800% uh, damage to nearby enemies because it's going to end up being an infused lance that you can actually see the infused uh, lunar grapple right there, which lasts a little bit longer than the slow fall does, which is kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to slam down on an enemy from the slow fall. Uh, we could actually like land on the ground and then just use it right then and there. But generally speaking, you're going to leap into the air and then you're going to use it to pull yourself down and slam into them using the momentum, which is really, really cool. And something that Game Ago has been slowly doing as they rework all of the classes is uh, they, they try their best to make it so that each of the individual abilities ends up uh, complementing one another. And I, I really appreciate that change. I think that that's really, really cool. Um, so then there's also going to end up being the ultimate ability, which is the lunar form. So this is basically our lunacy mode has been replaced with this and is triggered manually. So this ability can be used at max moon power, which is what we are right now. You can see the moons are filled in and our energy is at maximum. So when used, the player transforms, gaining increased movement speed, 50% reduction to damage and 130% increased attack damage. So... The cool thing is that, as you can see, uh, we've actually got pretty much max attack speed uh, and our movement speed alone is already 123. That's not including uh, when trailblazing triggers, when our ally ends up triggering or when pyro disc ends up triggering. Um, with the ultimate ability, it also ends up giving us a little bit of movement speed and I was able to trigger 
Uh, I think it, I think you can end up getting like 250 movement speed, which is crazy. So anyways, the lunar form actually has unique abilities. It completely changes all of your abilities. So let me see if I can end up, uh, it, we're kind of on a very short time limit to use this. So I'll kind of end up explaining it as best as I can. So the first ability is going to end up being your basic attack, which turns into crescent combo. Uh, so perform a sweeping attack back and forth sound familiar dealing 850 percent damage and the ability has a chance to stun it's literally when we transform our number one ability from the the current lunar lancer is now just our basic attack and actually does insane amounts of damage that's 82 mil right there good god uh so then there's also going to end up being our other abilities but the whole trick is that you can see our timer is slowly counting down here uh and is literally our energy is representing our timer right because uh as we end up using our other abilities in lunacy mode it's going to end up draining the energy that we have in reserve so let me actually uh get lunacy mode again just by you know spamming it on a bunch of enemies and so on and so forth and just using my basic attacks and so on uh just to kind of give you guys a bit of an example of how quickly you can end up getting lunacy especially if you find like a kill 30 enemy dungeon those are great uh, they really, really help out with getting your energy up. Also, this is a good time to give you guys an example of the class gem ability and how much better it is than it used to be. It's still not great because the minions are kind of random in how they summon, but you can see they have a lot more health. They actually do a lot more damage, and you can summon more than one at a time. I've had a maximum of three of them at a time uh, just because I ended up getting lucky with you know uh their spawns because it's very very random still so it's inconsistent but it is increased damage and that's kind of the important thing uh with that ability and you know, ignore the fact that i'm using the uh tomb razor subclass ability i oh god look at that my energy drains when i'm touching the tron goo and so we ended up losing our lunacy mode that see that feels like something that they should fix doesn't it Anyways, all right, so I, I was originally trying to show you guys how quickly you could get your lunacy mode uh, if you are spamming all of your abilities, but let me actually just do this off camera. Also, I do want to confirm that my energy was slowly increasing as I was attacking the dungeon chest, so you'll definitely want to be going out of your way to attack pretty much anything that ends up making your character uh well just attack something that that makes me curious i can't test it on the test server but i wonder if the training dummy prop that we have in club worlds could be used to generate your lunacy mode so you could actually have your lunacy ready uh well i was gonna say you could have it ready before you went into a world but that's not true because you would end up actually losing it as soon as you ended up world swapping right but either way it doesn't really take a super long amount of time uh to end up triggering it but you aren't going to end up triggering your lunacy mode once per dungeon or anything like that so i don't know pick your poison in that regard right like is it is it worth it is it efficient enough i don't know uh, so anyways, let me kind of explain the other abilities so that I can end up showing them to you guys really quick. Uh, so the secondary ability uh, in our lunacy mode uh, is going to end up, or sorry, our, our new primary ability. I forgot I ended up only doing the basic attack. So our new primary ability is going to be Eclipse Spear. So we'll actually throw our spear similar to the current animation of throw your spear and pull yourself towards it. Uh, now it's just throwing the spear and it's going to end up doing 550% damage uh, and it costs moon power as you'll see in a moment. Uh, and then there's the new secondary ability, the lunar slam, and then the new ultimate ability. So I'll try and end up showing you guys right here. This is the right click. So it just throws the spear and it's really, really cool. Here's our number one ability, which is wah, bam. I love the look of that ability. And then here's our ultimate while well, in our ultimate. It ends up casting our old ultimate ability down on the ground. And you can see that there's all these extra little fireballs slamming down and everything like that, right? Uh, so the secondary ability, Lunar Slam, you jump high into the air and slam down, dealing 1000% damage and stunning enemies. Now, one thing I got to give you guys as feedback is that personally right now i feel like they should change the ability because though it's really really cool that you kind of travel a little bit forward while you do the slam it definitely ends up selling the effect and looks awesome 
uh, it is not a useful ability at all because here's what happens uh, in Trove when you end up fighting an enemy. They come into your face and then if I jump behind him and I did my slam attack, you could see it would just miss him because I would jump over the enemy. And that's something that I'm noticing with that ability. So they either need to make it so that he just jumps straight up and then slams straight back down just because that's how Trove's AI works, or they need to increase the area of effect. Otherwise, the ability, unfortunately, is useless. Uh, and then there's going to end up being the ultimate ability, which is Blessing of the Moon. So it summons a spear from the heavens that increases stability, meaning no knockback from enemies, uh, and increases your movement speed. So with that and everything else triggering, I was able to get over 250% movement speed. Additionally, it applies a healing power over time, which is ridiculously weak. Healing just doesn't work in Trove. Um, but it is a buff to allies, so it's going to heal allies, I guess, whatever. Same as the normal spear kind of does that too, but it's just not very good. Uh, it also deals 1,000% damage to enemies on impact and deals additional damage over time with those little slam down fireball things that we ended up seeing, which I have no idea how much damage each of those does because chances are anything that you're fighting out in the normal world is going to be dead before you can end up seeing how much damage those end up doing in the first place. Now, last but not least, because that's pretty much the overhaul in a nutshell, uh, I just wanted to mention very briefly just to give you guys a sneak peek that one of the new modified abilities that's coming to Lunar Lancer is that when in lunar form your basic attacks have a chance to spawn meteors from the sky which we'll talk about that and all the other abilities in another video so just to give you a little bit of a taste uh, anyways this video went on a little bit longer than I expected but is definitely something super duper cool and worthwhile. Uh, I'll have other videos that are going to talk how you're going to build the character, but in short, you don't have to worry about energy recharge anymore. Uh, my feedback on this is outside of your number one ability not working very well uh, when you're in lunacy mode. I personally find this thing to be absolutely awesome. Like the rework to the Lunar Lancer is fantastic. And I will definitely swap to and main Lunar Lancer when this update hits because it is so fun playing on Lunar Lancer. Grappling is awesome. Um, personally, I, I like I've always loved Lunar Lancer. I just found that the gameplay was just so astronomically boring, just mashing your number one sweep attack over and over again. So now that they've kind of rectified that and made the character not only that, but also a lot stronger. I mean, I'm down, dude. I'm totally down for playing this character. I, I would say that Neo Ninja is still going to end up being the faster farmer, uh, but the trade-off is that the Lunar Lancer is going to end up making up for its lack of horizontal speed, though it does have horizontal speed. Uh, it's not going to end up topping the Lunar Lancer, or topping the Neo Ninja speed, sorry. Uh, but we're going to make up for it more than enough with the vertical speed because of the grappling and everything like that. So you're not jumping around like an idiot all the time. Not to mention you got the number one ability, which is really, really good. Also resets the cooldown on your right click ability. So you can end up doing some pretty nifty combos uh, where you can end up doing like a, a grapple to an enemy, jump, slam down into an enemy. Uh, you can see that the cooldown is on individual timers, both the infused uh, grapple and then the normal grapple. But anyways, that's my two cents towards it. Uh, again, I'll have the stream come out tomorrow so you guys can see all of this firsthand, uh, me exploring all of it and even testing out the range of the grappling hook and everything, which, oh, good Lord. What is this bug? <laughs> okay, devs, uh uh i can't get out okay there we did what the heck was that that was can i do that again i think i know exactly what it did it's like because i ended up grabbing that but my character got stuck on the block very weird anyways thanks for watching smash like stuff for more buy the merch you want to support the channel and have yourselves a fantastically wonderful day super excited about this rework guys seriously it's awesome